Finally, the iOS 18.1 is now released. And for those that have gotten the iOS 18.1 update, download it and install it, then this video is going to list some of the iOS 18.1 features and things you can do on the new iOS 18.1. So if you are new to iOS 18, then this video is going to walk you through what you are missing and what you need to know about the new iOS 18.1. So if I don't know this, you found this up informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So I have just upgraded my iPhone to the latest iOS 18.1 and that's why I say software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 18.1. Then click on continue. Then hang on. Once you click on continue, you just need to hang on to continue and take it to your iPhone home screen. Then next, you should see your iPhone analytics. Click on done here. Then welcome to iPhone. Just swipe up to get started. Then you welcome to your iOS 18.1. So if I've not gotten the new iOS 18.1, here is how to get it. First, go to your iPhone settings. And on certain space, scroll down and click on general. Now, once you selected general, go ahead and click on software update. Then on the software update page, you should see update now, update tonight. So the iOS 18.1 is about 6.7 gigabyte, depending on where you are upgrading from. So once you click on update, you should see agree to terms and condition. Go ahead and agree to terms and condition. Then thereafter, tap agree from the pop. Once you tap the agree button, then tap install now. Then this is going to download the iOS 18 update. Now, after downloading and install the iOS 18 update, here are the few things you need to take note. First, let's consider the control center. In the iOS 18.1, you can now reset your control center. How do you do this? Go to your iPhone settings. And on the settings page, scroll down to control center and then click on it. Then you have a reset control center button. So that is one of the features you want to take note if you're using iOS 18 and you recently upgraded to latest iOS 18.1. So it's a cool feature that allows you to reset your control center. If you click on the reset button, then choose what that says, this reset the control center layout to factory default. Then go ahead and click on reset control center. So another feature you want to take note in the iOS 18.1 is Apple now had more control buttons. So if you swipe down the control center, press and hold the control center like this, then click on hide the control, then you have access to more controls that were missing in the default iOS 18. So the new iOS 18.1 comes alongside with more controls that you can hide, you can see. So if you compare this with iOS 18 itself, you discover that the iOS 18.1 has more controls. So more controls are added to the iOS 18.1. Next, and that you want to take note in the iOS 18.1 is that you can now record incoming call or outgoing call on your iPhone. So this is a new feature that allows you to record calls on your iPhone, whether you put a call through or someone called you. To turn on the voice recording on iOS 18.1, just go to your iPhone settings. On certain space, scroll down and click on apps. Now, once you selected apps, scroll down the apps page until you get to the phone app. So just keep scrolling. Click on phone and then scroll down the page. Then here, if you have the call recording feature on your iOS 18.1, you have it here. So the new feature is called call recording. So just go ahead and click on call recording to turn on the call recording feature on your iOS 18.1. A few people are now enjoying this, but if you do not have the call recording feature on your iOS 18.1, that shows the feature is not available in your region yet. Then another thing is you cannot take a selfie with camera control. So mainly on the iOS 18.1, you can now switch the front camera without touching your screen. Simply open camera app and press the camera control. So this may be restricted for some users. So let's say you want to take a selfie on your phone like this. And now, if you want to take the selfie, if you're using iPhone 16, you should have a camera control that allow you to take a selfie using the camera control on your iPhone on iOS 18. Then you can also share Happy Music song on TikTok. So the new feature allows you to use Happy Music. So if you just go to your Happy Music, then you'll be able to share Happy Music on TikTok straight from your account. So there are some other cool features like sleep apnea detection, proofread that allows you to proofread text on your iPhone. So if you have a long text on your iPhone, let's say you visited a website or you're reading the text online and now you have a long text on your iPhone and you want to proofread it or you want to summarize the text, the new iOS 18 can now allow you to summarize a whole text on your phone. So once this feature is turned on, you'll be prompted to summarize the text 
on your iPhone on iOS 18.1. You can also write a uh, summary long email. If you have long email, then now the iOS 18.1 now allow you to summarize long email. And one cool feature you cannot run from is the iOS 18 feature now over smart reply to email and messages. So you can now easily reply email on your iPhone or when you are using iMessage, you can now smart reply any message on your iOS 18. So if you want to go further again, the new iOS 18.1 allow you to summarize multiple message notifications. So if you have multiple messages notifications on your lock screen, you can now summarize the message notification on your lock screen. So this is a feature a lot of people have been waiting for. If you have so many notifications on your phone and you want the iPhone to summarize it, then to turn on this feature on your iPhone notifications and your iPhone will be able to help you summarize your messages notifications. There is enough to know about the iOS 18.1 feature, but for now, just go ahead, download and install the iOS 18.1 on your iPhone and then start enjoying. So if this is awful, please don't forget to like and then subscribe.